Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Did it ever happen to you that you use a tool maybe for, let's say, a year or more, and you just recently discovered something new that changes completely everything? Or everything completely. Um, yeah, N not everything. I mean, I still live in the same place, uh, but it just makes some tasks uh, much, much easier and uh, more fluent. So let's have a look. So let's imagine you have here on track one an instrument which is called XO and you probably already know XO uh, which is a drum sampler by XLN Audio. It's a drum sampler and this sampler has this nice overview over all your samples, right? All your samples on the keyboard are mapped on this map here, mapped on the map. And you can scrub through all the samples here neatly and then put it on um put it on a cell here for instance this kick or this one here or this one there right so this is nothing new but what i discovered is that you can actually hold control on a sample here hold control and then just drag out the sample into bitwig itself so this works pretty neatly um so this is why i try to have this xo over already open all the time as a sample browser or a second sample browser because it's so nice to browse through your samples and just drag them out boom ready pretty nice um so this is the first first uh, thing i recently discovered is that you can hold control and while holding control, just drag the samples out into Bitwig. It just works. You can drag it into samplers. You can drag it into drum machine cells. You can drag it onto the track, into a clip. Everything works pretty fine out of the box, right? So this is the first thing. Um, when we select here, maybe a preset. Let's go for this one. Um, so we have now pre-mapped here all the cells. Oh, this one is actually not good. Right, so everything is in place. The kick is always on C1, kick 2 is always on C sharp 1, snare is always on D1, and so on. So it's always the same mapping um, that XO uses. And what we can do now is we can put in front of XO here a drum sequencer we just built, or I built, um, that triggers the kick drum always on C1, the kick two always on C sharp one, snare always on D1. So you don't need to change basically the notes. That's what I want to say. You can just apply or load this preset, which is called drum sequencer, in front of XO, and it will always trigger the right cells when you hit play on the transport here. You can also exchange here the preset. also use a sample combiner here exchange uh, all samples randomly right you always get the right cells triggered by the drum sequencer no problem so now to the second part you can also use a drum machine from bitwig itself maybe you can also use an ableton uh, the drum rack it probably works the same way and then you have this export um overlay here and down below, you can export basically the raw kit, but also all the individual samples. So all you need to do is drag this handle here over here. So now you have all the samples in here that we have in here. So it's a nice workflow basically to get samples out of XO into Bitwig or your audio workstation Ableton. I don't know. So quick way of doing that. So we can move XO here, that's what I do recently, onto an effect track. And only because of that, because I don't use return effects at all in Bitwig. I only use inserts on the track itself and I don't use um, these tracks here. So we can use this as a dummy track to have XO open all the time, maybe on a second screen or something. You have XO ready to select the sample, track the samples out into 
another application, uh, another uh, drum machine or another track, for instance. So you can have this ready. And on this track here, we just have Bitwig stuff, right? We have the drum sequencer here with the note grid and drum machine. So we can have this open on the second screen and maybe use different samples here, select at random, and then drag this out again to the first cell. You can see we exchange all them, the, the cells here automatically. And the good thing is the mappings are also exactly right. So this is C1, this is C sharp one, this is D1 and so on. So to sum this up is use XO here on a return track if you don't use return tracks and only use it as a sample browser. Maybe put this on a second screen here. You can also increase the UI scaling um, to make it super big and nice to see. And you can preview your samples, select the right sample, hold control, drag it into Bitwig wherever you want and use the sample there. Um, I didn't know that, that you can actually drag stuff out directly from the space, which is super neat and super nice to do. And it's for me, it's the missing, yeah, the missing sample browser I always wanted. Um, so I try this out for the next weeks if this uh, actually works nice. Uh, but I want to show you, maybe you didn't know that also. Um, it's a nice workflow and also you have the export option that works neatly with the drum machine in Bitwig Studio. Quick tip for today. Thanks for watching.